hair all over me. Cedar, Cedar, you're everywhere. Ugh. Hey, it's Anika here with Sniff Dog. If you are overwhelmed when you go to the pet store and sort of not knowing where to start when it comes to all of the recently suggested interactive feeding toys and food dispensing toys, this video is for you. I'm gonna give you three products that are my absolute favorites with an honest review. At Sniff Dog, we're here to teach you how to speak dog. If you can have a better understanding of your dog, you can have a relationship built off trust and fun. We wanna come on this wonderful journey of pet ownership with you to help empower the love and connection between you and your pup. Before we get started on today's video, I wanna give a shout out to Lee all the way in Calgary. Thank you so much for the continued support over all of these years. I see you commenting and participating in our content. If you wanna be featured in our YouTube videos, please go ahead and comment telling us what you wanna learn more about or like and share our videos with your friends. Let's get started on today's video. Ah, real quick before we do, don't forget to download the training tip sheet. I made it for you. It's got a summary of the three products that we talk about today. What you'll need for today's video are tiny breakable treats or kibble to put in any of these three toys I talk about. And of course, the purchase of one or all three of these toys. You've heard me say it before and you will certainly hear me say it again. Feeding your dog out of an interactive feeding toy is the laziest way to enrich their brain and tire them out. If you neglect to enrich their brain, you are going to see behavior problems creep up, such as barking out windows, destructive chewing on objects in the home that you don't want them chewing on. You might get some attention-seeking behavior like stealing socks, etc. If your dog is doing any of those things, it's in your best interest to purchase one or all three of these or similar toys to make sure that you keep boredom at bay. In the case that you didn't already know this, providing ample mental enrichment and scavenging opportunities through interactive feeding toys actually can deter your dog from practicing scavenging and seeking out garbage outside on walks. So this has a number of benefits if you choose to go and take the route of feeding meals out of interactive feeding puzzles. Now, what puzzle do you choose? There are so many options out there and trust me, I know it can be overwhelming. So I have tried and tested all of these products that I'm going to recommend today. And let's not forget that watching our dog work for their food through interactive puzzles is for whatever reason, highly entertaining for us. It's nice to see them problem solve and get frustrated but also just to see them happily excited and entertained by something. Let's get started on product number one, the Planet Dog Orby Tough Snoop Toy. That's a freaking mouthful. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. It's a brilliant, brilliant device. This is Cedar's favorite toy. Thank you, Planet Dog, for making it. Uh, I like this for a number of reasons. One, it's very soft, the product itself. So when it hits the floor, or if your dog's uh, a, a toy flipper, um, it doesn't break TVs or uh, leave a lot of noise when it hits the floor. So if you live in an apartment building, this one might be a good option for you. How it works is you open it up, you can pour the kibble in or stuff the treats in here as you wish, and then you fold it once all the food's in. It. Once the food's in it, you can make it harder by adding a tennis ball in the top of it. So your dog has to remove the tennis ball to then flip this toy all about to get the kibble to fall out. Another few reasons I love this toy is that it's inexpensive. It runs between $25 and $30. It's easy to find. It doesn't necessarily get stuck very easily under couches because of the shape and size of it. So it's not like a Kong where it'll go missing all the time. Another reason is it's really easy to clean. And that matters to me because I have a history of accidentally losing interactive feeding toys and finding them a little bit too late. And if they are difficult to clean like a Kong, then again, you end up with a little bit more of a mess on your hands than the Orby toy will permit for. This particular toy is Cedar's favorite, as you can tell, but also mine for a number of reasons listed, but most importantly, because it can be challenging or easy for them. It elicits just the right amount of frustration, excitement. Another few reasons this ball is one of my favorites and Cedar's is it is durable and safe to leave with your dog unsupervised for very short periods of time. If you have a super destructive chewer though, you do not want to purchase this toy and at all leave them alone with it because it can be broken into pieces. I've never seen it, but I'm not surprised if your dog actually does that. So it's not for the most strong jawed dogs, but for dogs like Cedar that don't really chew things up too much, it's a great option. Let's move to product number two, any Nina Audison puzzle. She is brilliant. This is particularly the dog brick puzzle. My favorite thing about Nina Audison is that 
She has multiple puzzles with different textures, different levels of difficulty to suit your dog's needs. Now, some dogs are really, really bright and they will figure out a food dispensing puzzle in a matter of moments. It doesn't really serve you that well because you give them their kibble to tire them out and distract them and give them something to do uh, and they're done it in a matter of seconds. That's not very enriching for them. But the good thing about Nina Otteson is all of the puzzles are graded in one, two, and level three. Nina has also made sure that all of her products are made of material that's not damaging for your dog to spend a lot of time licking or chewing at. If you have a super chewy dog, this will turn into a chewed up toy that no longer fits in the puzzle anymore. Oh, you like that? You want some of this? Okay, good sit. <laughs> I'll have to give them some after this. So for really heavy chewers, this might not be a good option for you. If you have a dog that gets really easily frustrated to get food out of things or their food drive is super high, they might just pick this thing up and fling everything everywhere, which can be dangerous if you've got kids in the home or a TV that you really like or a vase on a table. So just know your dog. These pieces all do come out, or some of them at least. Um, so this can be dangerous. Make sure that you have a calmer dog if you give this to them um, or that you're putting it outside and supervising them when they use it. This is dangerous for them to chew and swallow. Um, this particular one, the dog has to work for the food under the bone and then it unlocks the movement of these ones. There's also treats inside them. So I think this one's graded as a level two, but again, she has level one, two, and three, and you can be switching them out with friends and finding other people that have puzzles so that you can circulate them and not always give your dog the same puzzle over and over again. Nina also has some recycled puzzles that are made of wood, which I love as uh, sustainability of that. So if you're particularly interested in not purchasing plastics, she has an option available to you as well. Now these puzzles are higher in price. They run about 30 to $50, depending on the one that you purchase. However, they are available at most pet stores or at least higher end pet stores that are outside of the standard chain pet stores. So if you wanna look it up, Nina Otteson puzzles for dogs. They're super fun, they're very engaging, and they're best suited for a dog that likes to problem solve. Okay, the last and final product that I wanna give you an honest review of is the Omega Ball. This is the best budget point. It's a $10 ball. You can find it on Amazon or at your local pet store. You can find very similar products. A couple of things to note with this. If your dog loves balls, this is a great one to offer your dog. They'll get super agitated in a good way, in a way that's engaging um, and frustrated trying to get the food to fall out of this hole here. Um, most balls that are food dispensing, you wanna make sure are big enough that your dog can't put it in their mouth and choke on it. Um, that way it's, it's safer to leave unsupervised with them for short periods of time. This one's really durable. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is hard plastic. Uh, it's very unlikely that a dog can actually chew this up. Um, feel free to submit your videos to me, but I've never seen a dog be able to destroy this particular toy. Durable, $10, you put the kibble or the treats in, and it's really difficult to get them to come out. <laughs> that looked really easy, but actually Cedar struggles with this one a lot, which is why it's still got food in it, is he, he won't work on this one because he's too lazy. So if you have a lazy dog that's like, I want it right now, I'm not gonna work for it. Um, this one might not be in your best interest to get. It, uh, it takes a little time for them to get the food out of it. Um, if your dog is like Cedar and doesn't like to work for their food, you could put treats in here instead of kibble to really incentivize the problem solving that comes with offering this ball. Let's see if he wants it. Good boy. Another great thing about the Omega Ball is that it is relatively quiet to be on hardwood floors as your dog rolls it around. Unlike other products, it's not hard enough plastic that it makes a lot of noise. So all of you that are in apartments, uh, this is a good option for you as well. So as much as this product has a great price, great durability, is, is easy to use for most dogs and is a great challenge for those dogs that are more highly food motivated, don't do what I did. <laughs> I gave Cedar his kibble in the Omega Ball and I gave it to him outside in the yard to give him extra enrichment so he had to problem solve to find the kibble in the grass and I left it there overnight. Um, this one's not easy to clean. I ended up having to sit with it upside down in my sink with two huge slugs stuck in it for over a week. I'm sorry slugs. It was disgusting. Um, really hard to clean this one. Once something gets in it, it's very challenging to get out of it because there's a little lip before the hole that things get stuck in. So make sure that you are only putting kibble or small treats in there, nothing sticky like a slug. So things to avoid with any of those three toys would be to leave them on the ground full of food. 
what that does is it diminishes their value to your dog. If they're always around, then they're not gonna be excited about them being around. The other thing is you don't wanna leave them on the ground empty either. We want them to associate these puzzles as food opportunities, food scavenging and problem solving opportunities. So we don't wanna mix them up as just general toys because it also takes away their excitement. Do not leave them outside for slugs to crawl inside of them. Don't forget to clean them. And for the most part, try not to leave your dog unsupervised with these toys because although some of them may seem safe, you never know what can happen. And if you wanna purchase any of the products I've reviewed here today, we've got you covered. You simply need to click on the links below in the products review section. All right, that's all I've got folks. I hope your dog enjoys their mentally enriching puzzle opportunities on behalf of me. And I hope that you find that these puzzles are helpful to keep your dog entertained. If you haven't already, please make sure that you like and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Leave comments about what you wanna learn more about. We answer questions every single week. And also press the notify button so you are aware of when our videos come out every week on YouTube. Download the training tip sheet. I made it for you. It lists some of the tips with today's video. And as always, enjoy the bloopers. Cedar, are you ready to make a video? You look really ready. You look like a creepy statue. Please make sure that you give us a Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope. I gotta go to sleep.